Hey there, this is Tom Rhodes, known as Thomas Rhodes on Theme Forest. Today I'm going to show you how to install and configure my latest WordPress theme, Finch. So the first thing you're going to want to do is install the theme. So from your new WordPress dashboard, we'll go to Appearance and then Themes. Click the Add New button up here on the top. And again for Upload Theme. And now the file you're going to want to choose is called finchwptheme.zip. Now if you've got that already, just install it. If you've got a .zip with a really huge file name, you'll want to unzip that and you'll find this hiding inside. The zip with the huge file name contains documentation and everything, and that'll just break. So what you want is this .zip, it's 1.6 meg in size, and we'll just install that, and the theme should be up and running in a few seconds. Now if we go to have a look at the site, You'll notice that it's just a standard blog for now. We've got our posts. We can look at the post. Um, and you can use it as a fully functional blog in this format. But I'm going to assume that you want to use it as you've seen on my demos. So the first thing you're going to want to do is begin installing the theme plugins. And we do that like this. Now, I'm going to install all three required plugins at once. Depending on your server setup, you may want to do that one at a time if it's not working with all three at once. And in maybe 0.1% of cases, the plugin install might fail, but just drop me a ticket and I can help you with that immediately. So no worries there. With the plugins installed, we get extra post types, we've got contact forms, and we've got revolution slider. If we look at the site though, it's still the same as it was before. That's because what we need now is to install the demo data. So what we'll do is visit the options panel for the theme in Appearance, Customize, and this is using the WordPress Live Customizer, so many of you are going to be really happy with this. Up here, Demo Data, Import. And while that's importing, let me just talk about this demo data. If you're a developer and you've got WP Debug enabled, set it to False while you import the demo data and then set it to true again afterwards if you need to. Um, the demo data that's going to be imported is going to include heavily blurred versions of all the images included in the demo data. That's because of image licensing, so don't worry about that, nothing's gone wrong. We just can't distribute the images that you see in our demo, basically, so we apply a heavy blur and they will just be imported as normal. Now, this process can take anywhere between two to 10 minutes depending on your server setup. So the best thing to do is just to hit import, walk away and, and make a cup of tea or something like that. Just keep yourself occupied. Now while we're waiting for that, I might as well talk you through the um, theme options panel. I've tried to organize everything as well as possible. So anything that you can see that's prefixed with Finch is part of the theme. Everything else is part of WordPress. So we've got background images. Now we've got a background image if you're using the box layout that applies to the actual background of the page. And then the body wrapper background would apply to the body wrapper, but that only applies on the box layout. To choose the box layout, you'd go to styling, site layout, and choose boxed. You can also select fonts in here, theme colors, fav icons, and there's a place for some custom CSS if you need it. From, you can also choose your header layout, logo settings, you name it from in here. That message that just popped up told me that the demo data was installed. So let's take a look at the site. Looking better, but still doesn't look like the demo, does it? Just a few steps to make now. So basically, what we've now got is a blog that's fully populated with content. But if we want to see the proper demo, we'll go to settings, reading, Choose a static page for the home page and set that to one of the home pages. I'll choose home one. Set the post page to blog and save those changes. Now, if we visit the site again, we're going to see the proper site home page. Missing the revolution slider, but I'll show you that now. And there we go, that's all the demo data imported, nice and simple. Now, the last two things revolution slider and also a navigation menu. Well, the navigation menu is obvious. I've provided a link to tell you to set one up. 
Now, if you've imported the demo data, you're going to see this menu structure in front of you and you're thinking, well, it's already set up. All you need to do is click the standard navigation theme location at the bottom and that tells the theme where to show the menu. If we go back to the home page, there's the menu. Now for Revolution Slider, all that's happening is that it's looking for the slider from my demo data, which was called Home. So what we can do is create a new slider and call it Home, or we can import the slider. Now this comes in your download package in the demo XML data folder, or it will do at least, and just choose, it'll be called demo-slider.zip. So you press import, choose demo-slider.zip and import it. That's all that's required and the revolution slider will show on the home page. Um, and that's the demo data set up. Just a few things. I'd recommend you go to settings permalinks and choose post name just for a better URL structure. If this gives you 404 errors on your pages, that's because your server cannot rewrite permalinks and you should contact your web host as they'll be able to sort that out for you immediately. And the last thing is the page builder in the theme. That's in appearance, eBar page builder. So if I have to take my home page, here's the layout for the home page. Now you'll notice each of these points. These are all full page sections, which are over here on the left. It's this block. If we edit the section content, you'll notice that we nest other blocks inside it. This is what gives us the white and gray stripes in each of the pages. And it's also good for organization. You've got setting sections and you've also got setting content. Now each of these blocks can be dragged in. Some of them can be resized by dragging the right hand edge. And each of them has a category to make it easy for you to find the block that you want to use. So that's how you put together a page, make use of the page section, nest other blocks inside it. When it comes to adding that into your page, what you would do is make a new page. I'll call this one home test. You'd click the add template button and you'd choose your created template, in which case we'll choose home one. Over here in the page attributes template, just set that to page builder full width and that's all that's required. We can publish that page and it's going to just show all the content that we added in the page builder straight in this page. Now this is fully searchable by Google. This is fully SEO ready. Don't worry about that. The only thing because it's a short code based, if you have a plugin like Yoast SEO installed, it won't recognize any keywords in here because all there is is a short code. But don't worry about that. Google sees everything as it should. Um, the last thing to note is that you can override your global header choice in the theme options on a page per page basis in here. That's it. Thank you for watching my intro video to my new WordPress theme, Finch, and hope to see you as a buyer soon.